Yes, he does. 
God, hallelujah, who can hear us all, hallelujah, answer every prayer, hallelujah, and still, hallelujah, be there to comfort you through the midst of it all, oh God. We thank you this morning, God. You allowed us, oh God, to wake up, oh God, the activity of our limbs, oh God, with ears to hear, oh God, in the name of Jesus, with mouth to speak, oh God, with feet to travel us, oh God, on the road that you have set before us, oh God. Let us reach our destiny, God, in the name of Jesus, as we do your will, oh God. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, God. Oh, God, speak to us today with our daily bread, God. Oh, God, I decrease that you may increase, oh, God. Let your word, oh, God, come forth, oh, God, up out of the word that you've given me for your people, oh, God. I stand behind this sacred guest, God, to give forth your word in the name of Jesus that your people may hear it, oh, God, with alertness and attentiveness, oh, God. Oh, God, but most of all, for application, God, that they may apply it in their lives in the name of Jesus, oh, God. We thank you this morning, God, for all those, oh, God, who's tuned in this morning, all those on social media this morning, God, all those who have tuned in to hear the word, oh God, straight from this throne room, in the name of Jesus, God, that you will begin to bless them already, oh God, that the blessing is on the way, that the door is open, hallelujah, that that promotion is coming your way, if you believe it, hallelujah, receive it in the name of Jesus, for God is always working on the behalf of his children, hallelujah, for he loves you in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, and today we just want to, hallelujah, just come to you with the word straight from the throne room of God, hallelujah, that you may hear it as you listen, hear the word of God as he speaks to you, as he confirms some things in your life, hallelujah, and today, hallelujah, I'm praying that God will confirm something you've already studied, a prayer that will be answered today, hallelujah, that will cause your confidence and your boldness and your faith to grow. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, we welcome you to Covenant Restoration Christian Fellowship this morning. We pray, oh God, hallelujah, that you are attentive this morning to the word, hallelujah. As you gather around, hallelujah, grab the hand of the person next to you. Oh God, as your family gathers around, gather them together. If you're there, hallelujah, by yourself, lift up your head. For lifting up is a, is a sign of hope, hallelujah. Lift up your name, God. We lift up our eyes unto you, to the hills which our help coming from. Bless them this morning in the name of Jesus, God. Let their ears hear what thus says the Lord, O God. Move me out of the way, God, that your word may do all the work in the name of Jesus. For you said you watch over it, that it may perform that that is sent to do, God. But as they receive it in their hearts, O God, cause them, O God, to, to move and take an action, O God, on your word, O God. To begin, O God, again in the name of Jesus, God. To let the weights of the world fall off, God. Let that yoke-destroying power of God called the anointing, O God. Destroy the yokes of bondage on your people, O God, especially the weight of the ear, O God, that they may hear, O God, and receive in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a hand praise wherever you are. Hallelujah. For he is worthy, he's worthy, he is worthy, worthy, worthy. To be praised and honored and glory this morning. Hallelujah. I know many of you have joined us by social media. Hallelujah. As you're sheltered in again. Hallelujah. We know what's going on in this country. Hallelujah. That God will pull us through. We trust that. Hallelujah. That he's working on it right now in the name of Jesus, God. And Father, we thank you for working on it this morning. Hallelujah. As I come to you today, hallelujah, I just want to share with you, hallelujah, a word that God has given me. He said, where do we go from here? Where do we go from here with all that's going on in our lives today, with all the stuff that we're going through? Where do we go from here? Have you ever stopped and uh, thought about it? Where do I go from here? Have you thought about where am I right now? So where do I go from here? Where am I doing? What am I doing? Am I following what God is saying? Am I doing what? Am I being obedient? Am I praying like I should? Am I communicating with God like I should? Where do I go from here? Well, you can always begin again, hallelujah, for God has set it forth for you, hallelujah. Don't, hallelujah, continue to tear yourself down because you haven't done what you thought you need to do, but if we follow what God has said, hallelujah, he will always be there to encourage us along the way. So where do we go from here? See, because someday we will wake up and find that America we once knew is gone. That day is here already. We find ourselves, hallelujah, has fully changed, hallelujah. We have crossed the invisible line and there are signs that we are capable or not capable of turning back. We can't go back to the way it used to be, hallelujah. Now we're more conscious of washing our hands. We're more conscious of every place we go, hallelujah. We 
want to check and make sure. We want to mask up. Hallelujah. All these things are changing the habits of our lives. Hallelujah. So where do we go from here? Hallelujah. We must continue to be alert. Hallelujah. And diligent, diligent about what we do for God. Be consistent also in what we do. Because consistency, hallelujah, will help us to form the habit, hallelujah. Nobody should have to tell us to wash our hands. Oh my. Mm. <laughs> but many do not. <laughs> Watch your hands you shake, hallelujah. Oh, oh God, God, hallelujah. <laughs> Being swept away by a powerful court and country that just might be put us over the brink. Some people might not make it through this, hallelujah. Some people might, hallelujah. It won't be the virus, hallelujah. Yeah. Some people might be just overwhelmed with what is going on, hallelujah. Some people may even begin to think, hallelujah, that God, where is God? Where do I go from here, hallelujah? God, I need your guidance, hallelujah. I need your direction from here, God. But I need to stay tuned to God to order to hear the direction that he has for us, hallelujah. Where do we go from here, hallelujah? I got to go with you, hallelujah. Come on, go with me. Now, let me tell you a little bit about uh, a man called Martin Luther King, hallelujah, who wrote, where do we go from here in an annual report, hallelujah, that he gave in the Southern Christian leadership. Let me just share a part of it, hallelujah, with it as he was, had a big concern. He said, I'm concerned about a better world. I'm concerned about justice. I'm concerned about brotherhood. I'm concerned about truth. Yes. And when it's concerned, and when one is concerned about that, he can never advocate violence. Come on. For through violence you may murder a murderer, but you can't murder murder. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, somebody don't get that. You can't murder murder. Mm -hmm. He said through violence you may murder a liar, but you can't establish the truth. Through violence, you may murder a hater, but you can't murder hate. Mm. You can't murder hate through violence. Mm -hmm. Darkness cannot put out darkness. Only light can do that. Mm. So to me, what he says, we may try to kill the person that tried to attack us, but what about what's inside of it? Where do we go from here? What about the justice and the righteousness that we should stand for? Hallelujah. Murdered the person, have we murdered the condition of his mind? Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Have we murdered? Hallelujah. Have we set apart those things? Hallelujah. And racism, we can say we have. We might murder the person who committed the racism, but have we got rid of racism? We know we haven't because it's still present today. Hallelujah. I think Martin was on the right track. Hallelujah. As he began to share those things with him. Hallelujah. That he said, You cannot by violence. Hallelujah. We can't take each other out. Hallelujah. Just because, but we can find a way, hallelujah, to begin again. We can find a way to begin to live in the will of God together. Mm -hmm. I know that may sound like, and I know it's a process, hallelujah. I know everything will fall the way we should, hallelujah. But when we listen for God, hallelujah, when he tells us to do things, hallelujah, when we're obedient unto God, hallelujah, because how can people say they love God and hate the person next to them? How can people continue to say, I'm a, I'm a Christian and I love you, hallelujah, but you hate the brother next door because he's not the same pigmentation. You hate him because he don't like the same things you like. You hate him because you think that he feel, you feel inferior to him, hallelujah, oh that if you ever gain the knowledge that you have, hallelujah, then things may not be the same, hallelujah. Help us today. But if we would turn to the one God, hallelujah, because many have said across this nation, hallelujah, that we were all created equal, hallelujah. Where do we go from here? If we were all created equal, hallelujah, if God has created and he is the creator, hallelujah, why is there so much injustice in the land? Okay, let me get off my sofa. My God. Because I'm believing, hallelujah, that God is going to intervene in the midst of this, hallelujah. Yes, he is. Yes, uh, he is. That digging the diamond stirred me up last week, hallelujah. <laughs> Got me stirred up, Hallelujah. Because I'm believing, hallelujah, as I look through this word, hallelujah, that God is still trying to intervene 
to get us, hallelujah. He's taken us, hallelujah, out of the public face, hallelujah, putting us back in our homes, hallelujah, when we can start to begin at home, hallelujah, to train ourselves how to really respond when we come out into the public. So when we wear, when we come out, hallelujah, we're not coming out all the time with violence, hallelujah. We're coming out because we'll sit there and we study our word. We're becoming more apologetic because we can defend our word. We can defend what we believe in, hallelujah, how on the Backs of us, hallelujah. This nation was built. Okay, I'm getting back on the soapbox again. That's all right, hallelujah. This is coming to restoration. 56, 16, 9, 10 West. Come on over, hallelujah. We can have a good discussion about this, hallelujah. But I want you to understand, hallelujah, where do we go from here, hallelujah? Once knowledge comes, hallelujah, when does understanding come so that we can be able to walk together, hallelujah? He said, you know, Martin Luther was a, had a dream that one day, hallelujah, that the little black boy and the little white girl would walk down the street, but somebody wants to show a video of them going the other way. Hallelujah, let's right. talk. <laughs> Let us go into the word of God, hallelujah, for I myself, hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, let us go to Genesis 12. I want to tell you about a man, hallelujah, who, who decided, hallelujah, that he was going to follow God. He's such a man, his greatness, hallelujah, speaks of him, uh, speaks volumes of him, hallelujah. He was one of the first, hallelujah, to begin to see things differently, hallelujah. He was one of the first ones who trusted God, hallelujah, was obedient unto God, hallelujah, because we know Oh, we know Adam had a few little problems, hallelujah. But when we talk about a man called Abram, before he became Abraham, hallelujah, we're talking about a man, hallelujah, who followed what God said, hallelujah, and did the things that he that God told him to do, hallelujah. So this day, hallelujah, we go from here is by being obedient. Ah, uh, when he say obedience better than sacrifice, that's a bold statement to make, hallelujah, because many of us, we, we don't want to go through the sacrifice, but we don't want to obey either, so, so we get stuck right where we are, hallelujah. We don't want to say, we want to give an a eye for an eye and a two for a two, hallelujah. If somebody slap me, I ain't going to turn my head, I'm going to slap you back. Oh, come on now, you know that's the truth, hallelujah. You ain't going to be willing to do that, but with knowledge, with wisdom of God, hallelujah, you will understand that that slap back just started a whole new war, hallelujah. But if you want to birth a new nation, you got to learn how to turn, hallelujah, and use wisdom and speak unto that person. I know it wasn't you, but it was something inside of you, something you've been taught all your life, hallelujah. You got children that are being taught, hallelujah, not to even be able to follow God, but to listen to what I've said, hallelujah. Do as I do, not do as I say, but do as I do, hallelujah, because they've had the example set before them, hallelujah. See, hatred is taught. Oh, good Lord. But I know a man named Abram, hallelujah, who had followed God, and let us go over to that. Come on, Genesis 12, hallelujah. Beginning at verse 1, hallelujah, if you're with me, hallelujah. He says, Now the Lord said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land I will show you, hallelujah. When the Lord begins to speak to him, hallelujah, he begins to listen. He had already brought him out of Ur, hallelujah. But what happened is he, he began to speak to him again because sometimes we get around people, hallelujah. People will cause us not to be obedient. People will cause us, hallelujah, to enter into violence, hallelujah. People will cause us to see things different. When you have don't have your own knowledge, you'll begin to listen to the people what you think have knowledge, hallelujah. But if your actions don't line up with the knowledge, hallelujah, be careful who you follow. Because I know a God who's already laid out the example, hallelujah. He's already, hallelujah, got credibility with me, hallelujah. He's already shown me that he's able to bring me through no matter what I get into. But he said, get out of that country. The country, hallelujah. Many are leaving this country. Uh-oh. From that kindred. Because when your kindred start following, hallelujah, different God, when your kindred start, when people around you start following a different God, start saying different things, if you don't know, if you're not able, hallelujah, if you're not well endowed into the word, hallelujah, if you haven't studied the word for yourself, you will be convinced by the world, hallelujah, that it don't take all that. And he was telling them, hallelujah, your people might have some things that could convince you to come. See, because God is always watching over us. If we would just listen. 
to him, he will bring you out of some company that you are keeping that is keeping you from him. From thy father's house. Now he said it in the beginning now, hallelujah. He said, hallelujah. When you marry, hallelujah, you have to leave your father and mother and cleave to your wife. See, because many have really dismayed that whole sentence, hallelujah, that whole virtue, that whole truth that God has said. But see, God already knew about relationship before you got into one. He didn't say no call them no more. He didn't say check on them every now and then. He didn't tell you that. He said that what you and two got to focus on, hallelujah, is yourselves, hallelujah, what the power become. Because here he's telling me, leave your father's house, and I'm going to show you where to go. Mm. You, you got to trust God if he say he's going to show you something. Oh, come on now. And this is why, verse 2, I will make thee a great nation, and I will bless thee. I will make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. Mm -hmm. Not only will I bless you, but you will be a blessing. Mm -hmm. I will bless them that bless thee, and curse them that curse thee. Mm -hmm. And in thee, all families of the earth be blessed. Mm -hmm. So nothing but blessings is coming from Abraham, hallelujah. Yeah. Nothing but breaking, because, hallelujah, in the next verse, you'll see verse 4, so Abraham departed. Abraham got up and left his father and his mother, hallelujah, the people that he knew, the language that he knew, the people that he was around, hallelujah. He used to hang out with every day on the corner, hallelujah. Don't you know how them boys, you, oh, y'all ain't never hung out with them. You know, you don't want to leave them boys on the corner, you know, you know, because they always, hallelujah, had a little something, something for you. I know you don't want to leave them, hallelujah. But God sometimes tells us, hallelujah, to step out from where you are at, hallelujah, and ask me, where do I go from here? If you want to be a blessing, hallelujah, you got to learn to be obedient. Yes. So Abraham departed, the Lord had spoken unto him, and Lot, come on, his nephew, went with him. And Abraham was 75 old when he departed from Haran. Because mm -hmm. God had sent him there too. Mm -hmm. hmm. Let's go to 13. Genesis 13, verse 1. And Abraham went up out of Egypt, he and his wife and all that he had, and locked with him into the south. Mm -hmm. It's wasn't nothing that Abraham thought of, y'all. Mm -hmm. He just didn't get in the car one day and say, hey, look, I'm going, let's go on over here. I'm going to move on over here. He didn't just uproot, hallelujah. See, because many people do things without even thinking about it, hallelujah, without even putting a plan together, without a process, and especially without hearing from the Lord, hallelujah. Because mm -hmm. you know many people have been around you through God. They say God sent you there, mm -hmm. and then the next day they're gone. <laughs> okay, come on, you've been there, hallelujah. Come on, we want to say we follow God, but our actions don't line up with what we just said, hallelujah. See, because we don't want to go through nothing, hallelujah. It had to take a lot. See, you may not read that. In between the scriptures, hallelujah, in between the verses, you got to understand that Abraham had to make a decision, hallelujah, to leave his comfortability. Sometimes we have to do that. We have to learn how to, it's not going to be comfortable all the time. When God calls you out, hallelujah, you have to be obedient. It may not be comfortable because when God called me to this, hallelujah, it was not comfortable, hallelujah. I was used to my running shoes. I was used to running from God, hallelujah. Not today, God, hallelujah, maybe tomorrow, hallelujah. But I kept running, hallelujah. So after a while, hallelujah, I started to slip and fall because my running shoe lost its grip and I fell. Some of you going to fall right, right where God wants you to be, hallelujah, because you keep running from him, hallelujah. But you got to understand that Abraham had to make a big decision, hallelujah. Even when he said, get from among your kindred. This is something I have talked with people about a lot. So why did Lot come when he said, get from among your kindred? Hmm. You know why? Because Lot was actually his brother's son, hallelujah, and he had begun to take him in as a son. See, we don't understand. He was a nephew, yes, yes. But he had took him in as a son, so he was part of his family. That's right. You know, we want to treat people differently, especially nephews. Because <laughs> everybody don't line up with everything we're trying to do, y'all. All I'm trying to get you to see, come on, I've got to break this all the way down for you because there life, hallelujah. We begin to look at other people, hallelujah, especially when people get saved. I don't know why. 
People think when they get a little religion, hallelujah, that they ready to go, hallelujah. They better than somebody else, hallelujah. I have never thought that. I'm like, Lord, help me to live this thing right. Because I'm going through some things, hallelujah, even as a saved person. Because the salvation came from him. Right. What about my part? What does our part in the midst of this? He already gave you the salvation. He said, you're saved. So what you going to do from there? What about the little things that goes on around us? Hallelujah. When you come out from among them, when you come out from among your, your if your family, hallelujah, is living right and not living right, hallelujah, when you come out and show them, I didn't say leave them, I said show them mm -hmm. that there is a different way. Because yes. see, Abraham had to, come on, I ain't trying to step on nobody's toes here. I'm just going as the Lord gave it to me, hallelujah. Where do we go from here? We can't keep saying hallelujah with one thing and then not having the action to bag it up, hallelujah. Yes, yes you are saved, hallelujah. But what are you doing with that, hallelujah? Yes. How long will you stay saved? when you knew you took the gift. Mm -hmm. The gift was salvation. What are you doing with the gift? Uh -huh. Now that you say you're saved, if God called you like he called Abraham to get up out of there, what would you do? You see, he looked at the back. Verse 2 say, and Abram was very rich in cattle, yeah. in silver, mm -hmm. and in gold. Mm -hmm. You know, some of them get the big head right there. Uh -huh. now, if I got all this going on, God, what? You see, we're going to talking to God like I already got this. You already blessed me with all this. And why you want me to leave? Right. See, that's why many people are out of position. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'll say it again. You heard me say it. Many people are out of position because they're not what God told them to be. Mm -hmm. Because they want to hold on to the one blessing that he gave them. Hallelujah. He blessed them. Hallelujah. To be at a certain point. He blessed them with health and strength. Hallelujah. But he told them to get up and leave that. And move forward into the land that I have for you, hallelujah. In a place where I can even let you be a blessing. But there we go. You know, Mr. Stubborn, he come. He want to sit there and debate and, and challenge God, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Verse 3, and he went on his journey from the south to Bethel into a place where his tent had begun at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Between Bethel and I. Unto a place of the altar which he made there. And there Abram called on the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And Lot also went with Abram, had flocks and tents. Mm -hmm. And we know as we keep reading that they debated the whole thing, hallelujah. Because he had flock and tents, and then they could start to have division between them. See, God ain't the author of division, hallelujah. He wanted them to unite together, hallelujah. But I tell you, when you got a father like Abraham, and he's, yeah, he was his uncle too, hallelujah, but he considered him a son. But when you got down to it, hallelujah, he really wanted the best for Lot, hallelujah. He said, where do we go from here? He told him, you go that way and I'll go this way, hallelujah. You can have that part and I'll have this part, hallelujah. But you know, our eyes sometimes lead us in the wrong place, see, because Lot started looking over towards Sodom. He started looking at the valley, hallelujah. He started looking at all the good. He started looking at the things that went over there, hallelujah. He started looking at it like it was Las Vegas, hallelujah. <laughs> he saw the lights over there, hallelujah. He saw all the, uh-oh. Mm. Some of y'all don't believe that, hallelujah. He saw the lights. He saw everything that was going on over there, hallelujah. He said, hey, he started to face the way he wanted to go. And there's something about when you try to face, that means you done made up your mind, hallelujah, that this is the way I want to go. When you face the way you go, you usually go that way. Mm -hmm. And this will happen to most of our decisions for Christ. We face the wrong way. Mm -hmm. God is speaking to us, but we're facing the opposite way. See, Abram had already said, hallelujah, whichever way you give me, hallelujah. And he had already been set up. You see, that's how good God is, hallelujah. He knew he would take that. Mm -hmm. But Abram said, no. He turned his back on Sodom. Mm -hmm. He turned his back and went the other way. Mm -hmm. But it didn't keep him from praying for Lot. Because he knew that once Lot got there, hallelujah, Lot was going to like all the sin that was going on, all the things that was going on. Come on, there was a lot of things going on back then, hallelujah. They said it was all kind of unrighteous oh, living man. going on back there, hallelujah. Yes. Oh, man, there was all kinds of things going on over there in Sodom, hallelujah, that God did not approve of, hallelujah. Because of the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah's grave, because the sin is grievous. This is what God said. That's in verse 20 of, verse, of chapter 18. If you go over to Genesis 18, 
verse 20 says, And the Lord said, But the cry of Solomon Gomorrah is great. The sin is very grievous. I will go down now and see the way they done all together according to the cry of it, which is come unto me. If not, I will know. And he said, Behold, my Lord, turn in, I pray to your service house, and tarry all night, wash your feet, and you will rise early and go your way. And he said, Neighbor, we will abide in the street. But this is what we find out, hallelujah, that when Abram began to talk to God about Sodom and Gomorrah, mm -hmm. this is where you find out about can you find 50 that is right. Mm -hmm. This is what God is saying about the nation today. Can we find 50 that are right, mm -hmm. that are righteous? Mm -hmm. Are they still high behind the man? Can we find 50 that don't really hate, hallelujah, mm -hmm. Can we find 50 that, oh, oh. <laughs> that don't fear COVID, hallelujah? Can we find 50 that don't, hallelujah, that don't fear the way the world is turning today? Can we have 50, hallelujah, that, 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 that sees righteousness in our government, mm -hmm. that sees righteousness over the land, that, that sees the injustices, hallelujah? Can I find 50, hallelujah, that are able to pray for them, hallelujah? That will be able to turn things from their wicked ways that the land may be healed. Can I find 50? Can I find 40? Can I find 20? Can I find 30? Can I find it? Can I find 10? I know when you can find one, you can find Abram, hallelujah. I know if you come over to this house, praying for the nation, hallelujah. Come on over every Thursday. We're praying for the nation, hallelujah. We're fasting for the nation, hallelujah. Because there has to be a time when things begin to turn the other way. Hallelujah. But this is how bad God was, hallelujah. I'm going to keep my phone. Come on. God is so bad that he went down to talk to him. He sent angels all the way down the line. Go over to chapter 19. Genesis 19. And there came two angels to Solomon at Eve. Mm -hmm. And Lot sat at the gate of Solomon. And Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them and bowed himself with his face toward the ground. And he said, Behold now, my Lord, turn in, I pray thee, your servant tarry all night, wash your hands and feet, rise up in the morning, said, but we'll abide in the street all night. And he pressed upon them greatly. And they turned unto him and entered into his house and made a feast and did bake unleavened bread. They did eat. But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Solomon, compressed the house around and both old and young. So here come the men, hallelujah. Here come all those around him, hallelujah. And they called him a lot and said, where are the men which came in to thee this night? So they knew that the angels were there. Bring them out to us that we may know them. And Lot went out of the door to, the, to them and shut the door after him and said, I pray thee, brothers, do not so wickedly. Behold now, I have two daughters. Let me, I pray that you bring them out and do them as good in the eyes of only those things do nothing. For therefore came them under the shadow of my roof. And verse 9 said, they said, stand back. Stand back. And they said again, this one fellow come in sojourn, and he will need to be judged. Now we will deal worse with them than any other. And press so upon them, even Lot came near to break the door. But the men put forth their hands and put Lot into the house them and shut the door. The angels shut the door. And they smote the men that were at the door. And they did what? They smote the men that were at the door with blindness. Both small and great, so they didn't weary themselves to find themselves. Mm. Oh. And the man said unto Lot, As thou hear any besides son in law, thy son, thy daughter, and whatsoever thou hast in the city, and bring them out. Verse 13 say, For we will destroy this place, because the cry of them is waxing great before the face of the Lord, and the Lord has sent us to destroy it. America, if you don't wake up, hallelujah, I believe, hallelujah, we are beginning to a place where Sodom, hallelujah, and Gomorrah is in this place, hallelujah. See, because Sodom is not just a place on the of that ancient half-gotten world. Sodom is a state of mind, a way of looking at things, a mode of life, and Sodom is doing business. Although the city of the plague will burn up 3,000 years ago, Sodom is listed on the stock exchange. It is entered into a society blue book. 
It shows us the upper heads of the club where men do congregate. I'm afraid that we might find out through chemistry that there are traces of Sodom in the educational institution and even in some of our churches. Oh my. Oh my. Yeah, it's 56, 16, 19 West. Hallelujah. We want to talk about it. Hallelujah. Because I'm believing, hallelujah, if we don't begin to just to do what and begin to be obedient, hallelujah, just because of your home. See, see, some of us want to go back. Come on, let's continue reading, hallelujah. What happens when you go back, hallelujah? You might be turned to that pillar of salt, or you might become salty. That's right. Mmm. Mm. He told him, hallelujah, he said, Rose, verse 15, then the angels hasten a lot, said, Arise, take thy wife and two daughters, which are here, lest they be consuming the iniquities of the city. And while he lingered, the men laid upon him and, and upon the hands of his wife and upon the hands of his two daughters, and the Lord being merciful unto him, they brought him forth and sent him without the city. And it came to pass when they had brought them forth, he said, Escape for thy life. Look not behind thee. Mm -hmm. Quit looking back. As I told you before, quit trying to drive forward looking in the rear view mirror. Because mm -hmm. you can't see where you're going. Mm -hmm. He said, don't look back. Mm -hmm. Look not behind me, neither stay in all the plains. Escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. you got to understand that God had already sent a warning unto Lot. Hallelujah. Warning comes before destruction. Hallelujah. This is how the word goes. So if we don't uh, heed to the warning, America, yeah. Christians, mm -hmm. saints of God, holy rollers, you got to learn to listen to what God is saying. Hallelujah. Because when the iniquities rise up to the ears of God, when the sin rise up to the ears of God, Oh, come on, go with me now. God might just decide mm -hmm. that America needs to be taken out. Mm -hmm. Verse 18 said, And Lot said unto them, Oh, not so, my Lord. Behold, thou thy servant has found grace in thy sight, that thou have mercy side, magnified thy mercy which thou hast showed unto me in saving thy life. I cannot escape the mountain, lest some evil take me and I die. Mm -hmm. Lot didn't want to go, but he didn't look back. But we know, hallelujah, from the reading of his word, that his wife, who loved Sodom, she loved what was going on there. She looked at all that they had. And this would happen when we start to want to look back. Mm -hmm. See, we don't actually look back in the beginning. We start thinking of going back. Our mind starts to take us back. All of a sudden, hallelujah, we start to look back. To make sure that what we left, hallelujah, is still there, hasn't gone anywhere. But in order to go forward, hallelujah, sometimes you can't turn and look back, hallelujah. You got to keep on going forward, yeah. knowing that, hallelujah, yeah. you can do improvement, you can do better things, hallelujah, if we continue to listen to the voice of the Lord. Because we know, hallelujah, Abraham prayed for Lot. Oh, we know that God must have cared about him because he sent the angels to warn him, hallelujah, to get out before I destroy you, hallelujah, to get out, hallelujah. That's why I tell you, Solomon, Sodom is not a place on the map. Mm -hmm. Sodom is a state of mind. Mm -hmm. And I believe we, we are into it today, hallelujah. Sodom is that mode of life which sets his heart mainly upon the things which perish with the using. It insists upon the abundance of good things to eat and to drink, the latter especially. Law or no law, it wants a lot of nice things to wear. Explicit furniture, an endless series of thrills from round and round of amusement and self indulgence. Mm -hmm. Faith, hope, love, and moral aspiration and Christian devotion are all but done. Hallelujah. Yeah, Let's yeah. go down to the brass tag. It's to say that it is a cynical fashion. Mm -hmm. All that is solid. Mm -hmm. But we get caught up on, on a city, on a place. Hallelujah. But did you know that? Hallelujah. The mindset of the people identified the place, hallelujah. The mindset of the people today, hallelujah, yes. will identify the United States. This is why some people, we got to want to leave the country, hallelujah. Forget from among their kindreds, hallelujah. Yeah. Get from among, hallelujah, their government. Get from among those, hallelujah, who live in the same city, oh God. 
Father can't stand me, hallelujah, get from among them, hallelujah, and go to another place where God is leading them to. God is always trying to take us to a place, hallelujah. Oh, God, well, you can be hallelujah. He believes that a man, life, does not consist of the abundance of things that he can buy. That's Sodom, hallelujah. But God believes that more abundantly, hallelujah, where you live, hallelujah. He will always want to put you in the right place at the right time to do the right thing, hallelujah. The choice is truly yours. Come on, let us go over, hallelujah. Come on, you ready to go? Let's go over to Hebrews, hallelujah. These levels, hallelujah. Come on, let us go over there. Let's walk over there real fast. See, it is tomorrow more than yesterday which makes today what it is. What? It is tomorrow even more than yesterday which makes today what it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the yesterdays have been a part and determine our pre present status, but all the tomorrows would have been casting the spell of the influence upon us. If there be an endless series of tomorrows always waiting, then how might they become their appeal? We always want to look back on what happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. We want to look back, hallelujah. But when you turn back, hallelujah, when you begin to face that, hallelujah, where you came just as Lot faced Sodom, his wife faced it and was turned mm -hmm. to a pillow of salt. And there could be any way because they said the Lord wow. sent down fire and brimstone upon the oh. city. Mm -hmm. Let us go over to Hebrews. The 11th chapter. Are you there yet? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you even there. <laughs> Hebrews 11th chapter, beginning at verse 8. Come on, these are the great heroes of faith. Hallelujah. Verse 8 says, By faith Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place where he should have to receive an inheritance. Mm -hmm. And that's where we have to look at it. God may be calling you out, hallelujah, so that you may receive your inheritance, the benefits of the promises that he has made for us. But as long as you stay where you are, hallelujah, you better begin to ask the question, where do we go from here, hallelujah? I can't stay where I'm at because I'm becoming, hallelujah, comfortable where I'm at. I can't stay in this house without praising God. I can't stay in this house without worshiping God. Because guess what? All these other things are going to start to fill. Hallelujah. Your mindset is going to become one that is not of God, but it's going to become of what the world is offering. We'll sit there and listen to the news over and over again, but our inheritance is in God. Hallelujah. Where do we go from here? We go to obedience. Hallelujah. We go to the peace of God. We go to the creator. Hallelujah. Who is, hallelujah, the one who created us. That is where we go. We go and find ourselves, hallelujah, hiding under the shadow of the almighty. Hallelujah. This is where we go. Hallelujah. Under his wing where we can find peace and rest. Hallelujah. Wherever everybody was heavy laden, he said, Come unto me, hallelujah. And this is where we'll find the rest that we need. Hallelujah. This is where I say, where do we go? We go into the covering of God. To the covering of the blood of God. The power of God. See, it's something about his covering, hallelujah. How he covers us, hallelujah. Oh, how he yes, protects yes. us, hallelujah. Yes. Even when a virus shows up, hallelujah, here comes that covering, hallelujah. Oh, yes, hallelujah. Yes. The covering comes through the blood, hallelujah. Yes. If you would just pour the blood over you, hallelujah, you would be covered, hallelujah. Yes. God would begin to create in you a clean heart, yes. renew a right yes. spirit within you, hallelujah. In your house, hallelujah. Your inheritance is yours, hallelujah. For you've already been adopted in. Where do I go from here? Let us go back into the closet. Let us go back to praying, hallelujah. Let us go back to reading his word, hallelujah. Where do we go from here? Let us go back to getting back on our knees, hallelujah. Let us go back to laying prostrate before God, hallelujah. Let us begin to go back to crying out to God. Say, God, hallelujah, I need you, Lord, hallelujah. I got issues, God. I'm not all together, God, hallelujah. I need your help, God, hallelujah. Let's go back to looking to the hills which is help coming from. Let us go back, hallelujah. Let us go to a place where we can uh, be in the presence of God. For in the presence of God, we'll find the fullness of joy. My God. My God. By Abraham, by faith Abraham, when he was called out of into a place which he should after receive an inheritance. Come on. There's a common. 
next word is what will bring you into where you should be. The next word in that verse will bring you to where you should be. Mm -hmm. Obey. Mm -hmm. And went out not knowing whether he went. So he didn't even know where he was going. But he knew he had to leave because that's what God told him to do. See, he was obedient, hallelujah. You know, hallelujah. Come on, come on, go with me real quick, quickly. You know his wife was saying, hey, look, now, 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 hold up now. I like this kitchen that we got, hallelujah. I like this five-bedroom house we got, hallelujah. You know, and that's what I'm saying. The children said, I got friends, hallelujah. And see, this is where we get caught up. We began to, hallelujah, compromise God's words because we have heard what he said. Come on, even from the beginning, hallelujah. It was Eve that came to Adam, hallelujah, when she did what she did, hallelujah. But when we stopped listening with God, God would say, hey, look, I told you, hallelujah, together. I told you, head. I told you, head, to gather up your family and move, pack up and move out, hallelujah. Because you never know what I'm going to destroy, hallelujah. You never know, hallelujah, how I'm going to move you to a place, hallelujah, where you can get your inheritance. Mm -hmm. Verse 9 says, but faith, by faith, he sojourned to the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, with the heirs with him of the same promise, hallelujah. We all have the same promise, hallelujah, if we would just listen to and obey God, hallelujah. This is where he wants us to go, hallelujah. Back to a place where you hear, hallelujah. Only after you hear, you begin to act, hallelujah. That's part of the process, hallelujah. We always stop in the middle, hallelujah. We want to talk without listening, hallelujah. But the process of communication is not complete until we begin to listen, hallelujah. Yeah. We can't talk to God all the time without listening, hallelujah. He may have something to tell you. He might be telling you to move out, hallelujah, from San Antonio. He might be telling you, hallelujah, you need to go over the covenant restoration. He might be telling you that, hallelujah. But will you obey, hallelujah, or will you say, no, I ain't going right now, God, because I like where I'm at. See, this is what we get comfortable with. We compromise with God. We want to stay where we're at, hallelujah, when God is trying to pull us into the destiny, when God is trying to line us up, hallelujah, in the place where he would have us to be, hallelujah. Other than that, you are out of position, hallelujah. You are not in the position to for your inheritance. You are not in position to be a blessing because you are out of position. Yes. My God. That's why my ears, it doesn't tickle my ears when people say, God called me to be that covenant. Mm. <laughs> Show me. And I ain't from Missouri. I'm from Louisiana. <laughs> Show me, though. Because Abraham, Abram got up and began to do what God told him to do. He didn't just sit there and ponder on it, hallelujah. He didn't say, let me pray about it, hallelujah. You know how y'all get all y'all religious folk. Let me pray about it, hallelujah, for one more minute, hallelujah. And once God sends me an answer, then I'll move out, hallelujah. But what if he's already gave you the answer, hallelujah? Because, hallelujah, he might tell you no, then you all messed up, hallelujah. Because you don't think God should tell you no, hallelujah, who you think you is, hallelujah. Tell you no. We, come on, we can debate with God. Come on, y'all won't be serious, but I will, hallelujah. We'll sit there and talk to God, talk our way out of a blessing, hallelujah, because we won't be obedient until what God is saying, hallelujah. Where do we go from here? It all depends. The significant fact that any life is not in its present position and achievements, but its tendency and direction, if you are pitching your tent as an aspiration toward a world of things, then you will go as Lot went. Mm -hmm. You will go where the world is. Mm -hmm. You won't go where your inheritance is leading you, hallelujah, where your blessing, where you can be the blessing. If, on the other hand, you fare forth on the spiritual quest intended upon the best that life holds, it's already yours. Yes. God has already set it up. See, when he get in the lineup, God had already set him up, hallelujah. He already had all the calories. He was already rich in those things, hallelujah. The things of the world, hallelujah. But see, we want more, hallelujah. We always want more from life, hallelujah. We want to have the finest car. We want to have it, hallelujah. We don't like the hoopty no more, hallelujah. We want the finest car, hallelujah. We want five bedroom. We ain't got but two of us, but we want five bedroom because the Joneses got five bedroom. Oh, come on. 
on, come on, go with me, hallelujah. <laughs> you may be standing this very day at the parting of the way. You can go forward or backward, but right now, hallelujah, to the right hand and to the left or up and down, you can go toward Sodom or you can go toward the city of God. You can go back to the world. Come on, because some people are contemplating that, y'all. Our prayers need to be consistently that the Spirit of God, hallelujah, not by power, but not by might, but by His Spirit, hallelujah. We need to start praying, especially for those, hallelujah, or who are connected to the kingdom, hallelujah. For this is a trying time for a lot of people, hallelujah, mm -hmm. especially who believe that, hallelujah, that they are not the temple of God, hallelujah, especially for those, hallelujah, who don't believe that the Holy Spirit dwells within them, hallelujah. See, now they're really questioning it, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because now they can't come and fake it at church. Mm. Oh, okay. Mm. Verse 10. Look for a city which has foundations. I got to gotta really come on. Come on, go with me. I know y'all looking at that clock. But foundations, hallelujah. We need to have a foundation to stand on. If you're standing on the word of God, that is your foundation, hallelujah. Abraham stood on the foundation of the word of God because when God told him, hallelujah, you don't see nowhere in there, hallelujah, where he actually began to argue with God. He began to talk back to God, hallelujah, like some of us do. We don't want to hear it, hallelujah, so we begin to talk back to God, hallelujah. When you talk back to your mama, what happened to you? I bet you didn't talk back to your daddy, did you? But you'll cry, ever father, hallelujah. You'll cry, daddy, but when he's telling you what to do, hallelujah, you think you're all grown up, hallelujah. But there is a way that seems right unto a man, but the end thereof is separation from God. Yes. I'll ask you to wake up, America, hallelujah. As we continue this journey, hallelujah, I'll end where I begin, hallelujah. With a phrase from Martin Luther King, hallelujah, once again, hallelujah, as he gave this powerful message, hallelujah. He said, as I conclude, Come on. he said, and I must confess, my friend, mm. that the road ahead will not always be smooth. Yep. There will be rocky plains of frustration, mm -hmm. many points of bewilderment. There will be inevitable setbacks here and there, and there will be moments when the, the Hope will be transformed into a figure of despair. Mm -hmm. Our dreams will sometimes be shattered or our eternal hopes blasted. Mm -hmm. Yes, we may again, with tearful eyes, have to stand before the bier of some courageous civil rights workers whose life may be snuffed away by the devastating acts of bloodthirsty mob. Sing it today. But the difficult and painful as it is, we must walk on in the days ahead with the audacity of faith in the future. He said, Let us realize that the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. Let us realize that William Bryan is right. Truth crushed to the earth will rise again. Let us go out realizing that the Bible is right. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. This is our hope for the future. And with this faith, we will be able to sing in some not too distant tomorrow with a cosmic past tense, we have overcome. We have overcome deep in our heart. I did believe we should overcome. And I believe that God is going to bring us through. Those were the words of Martin Luther King, which still stand great today, hallelujah. We shall overcome even this pandemic situation. We shall overcome, hallelujah. Where do we go from here, hallelujah? I hope you find yourself, hallelujah, back in a place, hallelujah, where you can hear God's voice. I hope you find yourself back in a place where God can speak to you, hallelujah, clearly the direction you have. Yes, the struggle is real, hallelujah, but as my brother said, we will overcome, hallelujah. We will rise up again again and again, out of the ashes of the sin of racism, we will rise up again, hallelujah, out of the ashes hallelujah, of the sins of the world, hallelujah, if we trust God, hallelujah, and begin to do the things that God has called us to do. God even went on to change his name from 
Abram to Abraham, hallelujah. And that is one of the most, hallelujah, prestigious men I know, hallelujah, who walked by faith, who lived by faith, who did what God called him to be because he obeyed. Let your obedience be better than your sacrifice. As we conclude today, hallelujah, where do you go from here? Ask yourself the question, where do I make it personal? Where do I go from here? Will I continue to do the same thing over and over again? Because there is a label for that. Expecting a different result. Will I continue to go in comfortability? Hallelujah. Not ever wanting to step out. Hallelujah. By faith. Hallelujah. Because he said without faith it's impossible to please God. Now is the time for us to step out on faith. To believe that God. Hallelujah. Will pull us through this. We will overcome this pandemic. We'll overcome the fear, hallelujah. We'll overcome all that the enemy is throwing at us right now. Because it can do all but take your life. We need to get the Job mentality, hallelujah, and be able to walk through the storms of life, hallelujah, trusting God. Because if he tells you to get on that path, hallelujah, don't look back. But I tell him what, you can reflect on that to take you forward. Let it be the enemy forward. Let your past say you will be greater, hallelujah. Your latter shall be greater than your former, hallelujah. Let us move forward together in unity. I believe that's what God is calling his people to. Unite together against the works of the enemy. He wants once again to, to begin to seek his face. And today as I end, hallelujah, I pray that you begin to seek his face. Father, I ask you in the name of Jesus, oh God. Those that have heard this word today, God, it has been implanted in their hearts, oh God, that, oh God, hallelujah, that out of them, out of their belly shall flow rivers of living water, God. They'll be seen to speak life unto others, God. Their love will ooze from their hands through the spirit, oh God, that, oh God, no matter what they're from, I've come through many hard trials through temptations on every Though Satan's tried to stop me and to place my feet on sinking sand through the pain and all of my sorrows through the tears.